Agenda 21 is an outcome of the Rio Earth Summit of 1992 and it is mainly concerned with the sustainable development. And this Agenda 21 is actually an action plan. Action plan means it gives a guidelines what should be the actions taken for the sustainable development. But this action plan is not a binding document and the participation is also voluntary. So the countries who are pledging to participate in this Agenda 21 pledge, they, can, they are not pressurized to take part and if they are not following the guidelines also, they no actions can be taken against them. That is, it is not legally binding on the parties to follow the guidelines. So it uh, works on a voluntary basis. And if the countries are pledging to be a part of Agenda 21, they will be monitored by the International Commission for Sustainable Development. Commission on Sustainable Development under the United Nations. This is the monitoring agency. And what are the actions included under this Agenda 21? This Agenda 21 includes different topics and these topics include participatory decision making. That is, governments are encouraged to ensure the participation of the different stakeholders, including the students, including the trade unions, including the governments, including the business, including scientists, including youth, like that, including the indigenous people, like that, decision should be made on a participatory basis. That is on recommendation. So, the, if the nation is following this Agenda 21, it will try to implement participatory decision making in its governance. Next, it will give action plans to combat deterioration of the air, water and land resources. So, combating the deterioration. And another issue is about the conserving the habitat and conserving is diversity that is ecosystem diversity so different action plans to conserve the habitats and the diversity and it deals with the different issues different issues globally relevant issues like poverty health issues education issue and issue of overconsumption these are the different environmental and the social issues so it will try to address such issues and other things like there will be some process happening in the country like uh, forest destruction will be happening shifting cultivation will be happening which is not allowing the forest ecosystem to regenerate like that if there is any environmentally and socially detrimental process socially uh, there will be gender violence there will be fem uh, killing of the female children, female fetuses, like that. If any socially and environmentally detrimental processes are happening, it will try to reduce those issues. And like that, different aspects are covered under this Agenda 21, which will come under the issue of the sustainable development. So, sustainable development, if we know, it will take care of the environment, it will take care of the society, and it will take care of the economic issues also. For engineering services, general studies video lectures, visit www.ilsgeneralstudies.com. For mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion, visit www.getmap.com.